Welcome back, Rody Fruity fam, to another episode of Where the F*** is Lupe. Uh, we're still in Picayune, uh, Mississippi. We're here at Candyman's Candy. You guys remember this guy from Hawaii? What up? I just picked him up from the airport. He was in Hawaii the whole time. Uh, they wouldn't let me out. Said something about quarantine. They, they wanted to keep <laughs> me there. They're like, you're on a nine-month quarantine. <laughs> So, uh, as you guys been uh, kind of going through the journey with me, uh, the Melt, El Mariachi, Candy Man's Candy, we're going to take a couple quick bites, right? Let's go. Uh, I, I, hopefully, you gave us a fork Yeah, I got to grab a fork. So, I got their cheeseburger because I was just, I've been craving a cheeseburger. You guys can kind of see it's not like a traditional, like just frozen patty. My man was saying that uh, they basically just make everything, everything. Uh, from fresh, uh, from scratch there. So I'm excited for this. Adam got the the Mississippi steak. Yeah, Mississippi steak burger. Sorry, I'm fishing for a uh, fork over here. Look, I got the onion bun. Which I think is a good sign. I mean, if you, need, you know, eat with your hands, you can't eat it with your hands, you need a fork. That's a good sign of a good steak burger. Yeah. We got, we got you a spoon. Yeah, oh, uh, no fork. Sorry. So, so it looks like it's, it's actually a burger. Yeah, the yeah. Breads, the breads right here. It's hard to see. Yeah. You got a little mayo. Do it like this. No bread. Yeah. Look at that, guys. So, so the bread, it is a burger. The breads. But wait, he like chopped right it up. He chopped it up, and then he was mixing all the stuff in it. Yeah. All right, brother. Look at this. I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. I I, I don't know. Mm. And one thing that we found out. Let's see if I can hook over the, the bread mm. a little bit. Oh yeah, there is. So I don't know if you can mm. see. That is an actual, you know, it's a burger. There's a bun at the bottom, a bun at the top. And there's just like the extra on the size with the. Um, oh, it's like animal fries, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in and out. I forgot to get napkins. Yeah. Can we get napkins? And I recommended this place no to, to Loop. Um, I mean, partially just on personality. I, I've eaten here. My mother-in-law lives right down down the way from here. Eat here with my wife. You know, it's really oh. close to my mother-in-law's house. But uh, you'll see the uh, the owner. He has his family working in the kitchen. It's a family affair. Bro. Everybody's involved. His personality. It's not on a level 10. It's on, Loop, what would you say? A level no, 15? Yeah. And it says get fat, but with a PF. Yep. It, um, his tagline is um, uh, he, he does a Facebook live. Hey, bur uh, candy lovers, burger lovers, and good customer service lovers. Yeah. And he lives up to it. Great burgers, great pralines. We're about to have them. And we found out that he has a kind of a secret menu. He makes tacos. Yep. Mm -hmm. But they were, they look, you would think that it would be like, and he kind of threw it out at the last minute. I knew about him, but I thought oh, it was did? I thought it was like a sometimes yeah. type of deal. Because remember, I was asking him, he does cheese fries. And I was like, oh, well, you still got those cheese fries? Um, I would have ordered those. I don't know how it would have worked out because I got so much stuff going on. Mm. But um, but then he uh, he hooked us and was like, hey, look at this over here. Um, opened it up. It's the tacos. And Loop's like, whoa, where did you get that? Thinking it's like he picked that up from yeah, right, yeah, a somewhere. neighbor restaurant. He's like, no, 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 no. I, 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 I cooked those up here. If anybody doesn't know, they almost look like barilla tacos without the barilla, without the consomme, without the sauce on it. I don't know what it any of that means. It looks like he, well, basically it looked like he packed them in fat and put cheese in them and then grilled them. Oh, yeah. I think he was saying it's kind of like a chalupa. It was absolutely amazing. Mm. So this place has only been open in Picayune for four months. But prior to that, he was doing the pralines and all the candy stuff. For four years, is that what it was? Mm-hmm. And guys, we were able to. We're gonna have to put Adam in the back since he'll be the guest. But we did. Uh, we did ask him, "Hey, you want to be on an episode?" He said, "Yeah." So you guys about to get a Candyman exclusive in the next couple of days? Is he open seven days a week? Yep. I mean, he does sometimes have interesting hours. But believe it or not, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and he was open on Thanksgiving. Hmm. I mean, me and Luke, yesterday uh, we went to, uh, I had to introduce them to Louisiana's um, daiquiri spots. They're drive through It's a really unique thing. Another uh, video, I think, uh, or you did a... Um, drive through daiquiri bar. Yeah. 
But we, uh, that was, we were both jonesing for something to drink, and it was like, yeah, everybody's closed. Dunkin' Donuts, you know, sorry guys, but they were closed. You know, everywhere was closed. Chick-fil-A, everywhere. So, da drive through Daiquiri spot. So, if you can't have caffeine, you can have booze. Yep. All done. Um, but, uh, you know, we did that, and we're trying to find a place to do to eat. Okay. Little we know, right here in Picayune. Could have stayed here. Is this the edge of town over here? Uh, it, looks... it is the edge of town. Kiln is, which is actually pronounced Kill. Uh, Brett Favre is from Kill, Mississippi. Oh, you that. Uh -huh. Brett Favre is from there. They got stuff up there. There's another burger joint there, Wards. It's a local Mississippi chain. Mm. Um, but uh, sorry to plug other other spots. But, no, that's all right. You but, guys um, stick together. But um, yeah, Brett Favre is from Kill, small town over there, and that's about 10, 10 minutes that way. When you mean local chain, you mean they have like just a handful of them? Yeah, so it, really interesting down in the south, there's a few of them. So Ward's is um, a local Mississippi chain just here. I'm really surprised there isn't one in my town, Picayune, but there's one in Poplarville and um, uh, Kill. So we're kind of like situated in between. Then um, there's also a place called Cookout. That's kind of a regional chain that yeah. I'm going to take Lupe to. Closest one is up in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. But if you start getting into Alabama, spot called Milo's. And down here, uh, well, I'll have Lupe show you, but Milo's tea is sold everywhere. It's the best. Yeah, we were trying to, we went to a rest, uh, restaurant. We went to a market, guys, and my folks from Rhode Island. It's like a Dave's. It almost looked identical to Dave's. And basically what it is, it's a place that... I don't know. It's like a step up from a regular supermarket, right? Because it has the prepared foods. It's a local where you, spot. Where you can get a salad. It's called and, Rouse's. Rouse's, yeah. And we, he was trying to find Milo's there, and it wasn't it wasn't available. Yeah, my wife also drinks his unsweet iced tea, which now pretty much means I drink nothing but unsweet and iced tea. But they do uh, fresh lemonade. They do uh, a diet. Um, I, I don't do the diet uh, stuff. I'm not into that artificial sweetener. Uh, but then they do a See, regular. I like it. They do, you do? Well, here's the thing. I like stevia monk fruit. I, I can't do the others. The, um, I don't know. I well, just, hold on. I got to get a bite yeah, of this burger. That and burger's I, been calling your name. And I have a feeling this is going to get. Uh, Look at this. I'll, I'll keep him talking. So he does different types of pralines, guys. This mm. is, I believe, the, the Rice crispy one. Look at this. You're right, already on dessert over here. Right, right from the no. Take your time. Right from the mm. candy man, because I, I housed mine. I mean, we did load up on enough dessert to keep a stock for. Mm. We got like eight pralines. Excuse me, I'm talking with my mouth full. But um, oh, welcome to Roadie Foodie. That's all we do here. Mm. Mm. These and then you keep them, bro. I'll do the dessert section. Don't go this through all the desserts. These are uh, rice, uh, uh, Reese's peanut butter cup, or not, uh, Reese's pieces. Yep. I don't know, is this one plain? I like the plain? Uh, maybe. I mean, he was just throwing, like, at one point he said, like, it was a buy four, get one free or something. Yeah. So I was just snatching them. He does a Skittle one. I'm telling you, the Skittle one is unreal. Unreal. This is the same one as the first one. Oh, he has them color-coded. Oh, so we got two of these also. Mm. I'll try that one. And then... Oh, this was the, this one, it was uh, graham cracker and something else. Do you remember what he said? Mm-mm. Graham cracker. Well, I think it was white chocolate macadamia. Oh, maybe that's what it is. White chocolate macadamia cracker. I think that's exactly what it was. Mm. So we'll put that over here. You have to catch up. Take your time. You have to catch up on the, on the recess one. Put these over here. But yeah, guys, I've been, keep eating, brother. I've been absolutely uh, taken aback. Uh, with the food here. Not one bad meal yet. Um, the only bad experience that I've had in Mississippi so far is that I don't think that Mississippians, am I saying that right? Is it Mississippians? I don't know. I've only been here for two <laughs> years. So, I mean, yeah. I know you're a, what, what is a Rhode Islander? Rhode Islander? No, Rhode Islander. Yeah. 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 Um, Mississippians, um, at least in this area, is uh, I don't think they've, they've grasped uh, rotaries yet. Mm-mm. Um, Neither of you. No, I did that on purpose because there was nobody behind me. But if there was people behind me, I know how to, I know how to do a rotary. I don't know. I'm kind of su I think you're a little, <laughs> a little sus suspect. A little suspect. <laughs> that. I would have got pulled over. Woo -woo. Although, I'm getting that next time. That looks bomb. Mm. I'm going to try this graham cracker one here. Going back to Milo's. So it's a chain that makes tea. 
sold in all the local local grocery stores. But they have a chain wow. of burger spots, um, and it is phenomenal. It's in Alabama. There's one more I gotta try. This one. Uh, guys, I don't know how to make pralines. Oh, that's what he calls the other one, Brookies, uh, brownie cookies. Mm. But yeah, he was he was saying that he's a singer too, yep. or, or he's into like music, yeah, into R and B or something like that. And the candy man is kind of like um, not exactly a double uh, entendre, but double meaning. This is my favorite one. So uh, somebody told him that he looked like a guy from Candy Man, and he makes candy, so he is the Candy Man. <laughs> so it's like a twofer. He's a Candy Man like all over the place. Yeah. Wow. Good for him, man. There's um, you know, restaurant biz is tough. So to take the jump and actually have a good product. Well, I think also the family. I mean, he's got a, uh, every time I go in there, you know, he's teaching his daughters strong work ethic. Uh, they're back there, you know. Yeah, she was out there making her thing. She was yep. just chopping it down. Um, you know, great customer service, putting your, you know, best foot forward, um, ownership, responsibility. I mean, that for me. And I've seen um, one day right after Hurricane Ida hit, you know, this place was, I mean, it was hard to get bread. Bread mm -hmm. was one of the things nobody could get, buns, anything. So he was serving, but he had no buns for his burger. Somebody came in, you know, ordered food, realized he didn't have any buns, and, you know, it just shows the community. They had buns at home, brought it down to the restaurant for him. It was, um, it was unreal. Yeah, there is there is something here to the south down here. Or probably maybe a sm small towns where you'll see things like that. And the great thing about here, too, is... Which you won't see this. Uh, well, maybe you can't see this other place. I, I still have more traveling to do, but he had the prices listed, and he even said he was like, "I'm gonna honor last night's prices." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "You don't have to do that," but I'm still. I, I you know, I come from. Uh, well, you live in bigger areas mm -hmm. too. They're, they're gonna do that in Las Vegas. No. Be like the special was last night, but we're gonna honor it today. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, they're not gonna do that. So that's what I love about the South, man. It's a, it's a, it's an absolute just a delight to be down here. And I'm excited to have the Candyman uh, in on a episode with us. Maybe we'll do the tacos. Uh, maybe he'll do something really crazy with us. But yeah, man. Thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, I don't know though. I mean, we're kind of three big boys. I'm the I'm the <laughs> least of the three. But I that's, mean, I, that's why you're going in the back. Um, I'm kind of worried about the old Subi here. I don't know. But, oh, oh yeah. This is your first time filming in uh, Roadie Foodie Studios. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's got enough room, but yeah, that back's a little tight. Actually, the back might be more comfy. I'm kind of <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're getting, this is post uh, food crazies. Uh, check out the Candy Man. Uh, if I can find his uh, website or his Facebook page, I'll put it down in the description. Go show us some love. Um, I love supporting local. I love supporting not only local, but uh, wholesome people like him. So uh, make sure you do that. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You'll see more of this guy over here in the vlogs. We're going to Louisiana this weekend. Uh, we got a hotel. I'll tell you guys more about that later on. But it's, it's some cool stories, and uh, they're gonna. We're basically gonna put a whole week worth of stuff into a day and a half. Is yeah. that what we're doing? We're visiting the Crescent City, and um, I mean, you can spend a week there, a month there. Oh man. Yeah. Um, and you'll you'll never yeah, exactly. run out of things to do. But the beautiful Crescent City of New Orleans. And he basically said. Make sure your liver's ready. So we're going to have to go pre-detox. We're going to juice in the next day and uh, get the liver ready. Yeah. All right. Be well. Eat well. Take care of each other.